Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn Cisco Packet Tracer configuration for internet access. Now within this Cisco Packet Tracer, we are going to use the devices that is so we need one PC, one laptop, router and server. So first you have to select the devices for that if you observe towards bottom left corner if you see bottom left corner it is showing the list of devices within that it is showing the in network devices in devices it is showing the different connections again components required again multi-user connections again routers different kind of switches hubs Okay, again wireless devices. Again here, simulation devices for WAN and some security related devices. So first we'll select the end devices. Within that again, we have to select PC, laptop and server. In devices, I will select PC, laptop and server. Again, from network devices, we are going to use router and switch. So, first we will select the switch. So, switch is 2960TT switch. So, we will select one switch. And from router, now see from this wireless devices, we will select. Now, we are ready with devices. We have to do the connectivity for these devices. So, here it is showing the connections. From this connection, you have to select this option that is automatic connection, automatic type of connections, and you have to connect all the devices. Now, connection is done. Now, we have to set the IP addresses. To set the IP addresses, I have written uh, one note here. By using this IP addresses, we will configure this. By using that, we will do the configuration. Okay, so first we have to open the PC. So within PC, we have to select desktop option. Within a desktop, again IP configuration. In IP configuration, if you observe here note, I have given for PC, IP address as 192.168.1.5. Again, if you click here, it will take subnet mask automatically. Again, default gateway. So default gateway is nothing but our router address. So it is a 192.168.1.1. Again DNS server. So we are going to give DNS server address 192.168.1.254. Now see all these devices are within same network. So first three fields of this network address are same that is 192.168.1 and rest of the numbers you can change so we have given ip address subnet mask default gateway dns server close this now done for the settings of pc0 again select the laptop double click on la laptop let's select the desktop option again ip configuration now for laptop we are going to use address as a 192.168.1.6 so we'll give that address 192.168.1.6 subnet mask it will generate automatically again default gateway is nothing but our router address so it is a 192 so it is 192 dot one sixty eight dot one dot one again DNS server address one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point two hundred and twenty four okay so we have done setting for these devices that is a PC and laptop now we will do setting for router 
So if you select router, again configuration, we have to select the LAN, again IP address 192.168.1.1, then subnet mask will generate automatically. Now it's time to set, uh, it's time to do setting for server. So just double click on the server. Again, desktop, configuration, IP address. So our DNS server address is 192.168.1.254. Subnet mask, it will generate automatically. So default gateway is nothing but router address so 192 dot 168 dot 1.1 again dns server so it is a itself is a dns server so you can copy this address paste here again select the option as a services then select dh http service Again, let me check whether HTTP service is on. After this, we have to edit this index.html file. So, if you edit, right now, if you observe, it is showing some Cisco packet tracer. Okay. So, instead of that, we can give or we can edit it as per our convenience. So, I will change the size as a 24. I will change color for this as red and instead of Cisco packet dresser can give any method here software technology empire and here also can change the message welcome to STP again I want to give message as a learn with fun Okay, the save this changes. The showing message is there is already file you want to overwrite. So just click on yes button. We want to change the content of that file. So yes. Now see we have we want to add this to our domain name service. So select the DNS option and our server should should be added to domain name services. So I want to give a name as a ste.com again address so here we have to put the address of a server so it is 192.168.1.254 okay and after this you have to before that you have to on the DNS service again name of the service and address and just click on add button now this service with address is added to our server and we want to check whether this service is accessible from pc and laptop or not so just close this window now click on pc select the option web browser again you can type url 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 254 that is our server address and just click on go button now see that uh, index file whatever we have modified it is accessible on this client machine also so instead of using this ip address we can give name also because already we have added this website to domain name services so, you can change the name and click on go button. Now see it is redirected to the ste.com. So we'll check whether it is accessible from laptop or not. First we'll open the, this laptop option again web browser. Now instead of giving IP address I will give directly ste.com. And just click on go button. See here also 
accessible. So friends, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any query related with this video, you can comment me in comment box. And if you really like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.